Hello, I hear you're going to be presenting your dashboard to your colleagues or to a user group or to some external audience. Awesome. We love it when people share the successes they have had with Tableau and the dashboards that have brought insight to their organization. So great job. My name is Andy Cockgreave. I'm technical evangelist at Tableau and author of The Big Book of Dashboards. And I want you to be able to show your dashboard in the best possible light. Let me show you how not to do it. Hello everybody, my name is Andy. I'm gonna show you our dashboard, it's been brilliant. Uh, here's the dashboard, we've had really good success with it. You can see the KPI that we've managed to show, the quotient of the percentage growth of the KPI within the CAP department, it's been brilliant. We've never been able to see that before. You can see uh, the, the expert in my, in my department has created some really whiz-bang charts and this chart enables me to see loads of great things. Can you see that? Isn't it great? And then we've built all this brilliant interactivity. Look at the things you can click on. You can click on this and you can cl click on this as well and, and this has been really good and we've learned loads because of this. We can all see everything. It's amazing. And, and that's our dashboard and, and there you go. Now you can do that too because this dashboard was brilliant. Go and build an amazing dashboard too. Thanks very much. Uh, have a great day. Yeah, so I did a presentation called Clear and Presentation Danger, Building Charts for a Big Screen, which is all about not being bad Andy. This is a short little segment of that about presenting dashboards. First of all, you're going to be in a room with a physically large screen. Don't think that because it's a physically large screen, it is actually a big screen. This is a typical meeting room. The person, people two, three, four rows back from the front can't really see what's on that screen because it's actually not very big for them. So when your dashboard is going to be on screen, you have some rules of thumb to think about. First of all, nearly all dashboards, nearly all dashboards are designed for small screens, for laptops, cell phones, or desktop monitors. They're not designed for a big screen. Your audience has no clue what this dashboard is showing. Now, I might be in the finance department, you might be in marketing. They don't even know what the measures mean. And look at that dashboard. There's about 95 different pieces of information on that dashboard. Boom, it's on the screen. And they've got what, five, five seconds to try and pass it? Don't forget that you know the dashboard intimately because maybe you built it. But just because you know what it shows, you can't assume your audience have the faintest idea what it is they're seeing. So, so, as we're doing this, as you're talking about a dashboard, you've got to specifically draw attention to every part of the dashboard you're going to discuss and explain what it means. Let's take a look. First thing I want to talk about is really how to point, because this is one of the easiest things to get wrong or get right in your presentations. What Bad Andy was doing wrong here is what I see so many people do. They stand fixed on the floor and they point vaguely in the background at where they think the dashboard is. Or they look and they point, but the only person in the room who has a clue what they're pointing at is the speaker themselves, because they're the ones with the line from the eye to the finger to the screen. So you've got to draw attention on the screen to the part you want to talk about. You could use the control key if you have a Windows device. Here I'm using, pressing the control button every time I want to draw attention to a part of the dashboard. You can change that setting in Windows, it's in the mouse properties, and then you're permanently set up, just press the control key, and you can show that KPI off. That one's red, and then you can show these KPIs. We added the red dots to show problems. Something else you should do is learn how to zoom. Let me zoom in to this KPI. The red dot shows potential billing, which is a KPI we use in finance, and the, the red dot shows it's underperforming. Our new biz KPI is doing fine, so there's no red dot. Just by zooming in and explaining the KPI, people could see what it is you're talking about. You could also use a laser pointer. Now, I don't like the red laser pointers. Uh, I use this one. It's a moderately expensive Logitech Spotlight, but it enables you to actually draw spotlights on the screen. This is only really worth investing in if you do a lot of presentations, but it's extremely powerful when you do because you can literally put a spotlight on the thing you're talking about and zoom in. But one thing we can do if we're using PowerPoint uh, and not showing the dashboard live is use shapes and callouts. Allow me to draw attention to this KPI. The red dot shows it isn't on target. Secondly, 
I'll show you the red dots here. These are the factors that are causing the KPI to be underperforming. This enables us to see the root cause of all our problems. Our team developed this fantastic area chart which shows us insight we've never seen before. And finally, by adding interactivity, interactivity such as filters like this, we were able to do allow the team to do their own guided analytics. Now, these are obviously only practical if you're in PowerPoint. If you're uh, doing this live, this is a bit harder to do, but in PowerPoint, they at least create the script for you as well as drawing attention to the right place on the screen. That's how to point. Um, and I just want to finish with one more point. A chart must be understandable in half the, under half the time it is on the screen. Always bear this in mind. Consider this scatter plot. I'm going to show it for five seconds. Well, is that too complex for a presentation? Well, it's not. But what I see a lot of people do is show a complex chart that they've put into a dashboard dashboard, and then assume that the audience have a clue what it's talking about. Well, they don't. This scatter plot is actually uh, the data used by an incredible talk by Hans Rosling uh, back in 26, 2006. And in it, he brought a scatter plot of uh, data about the world to life. And he did it successfully because he took about three minutes to explain the chart, the axes, the marks, the color, the size, what everything meant before he even talked about, st started playing the chart and showing the insight. He realized that if he's going to show a complex chart, he needs to tell the, the audience exactly what it is showing. Now, Hans Rosling was amazing, but it's not that hard for you to do that. You too can be like Hans Rosling. Bring them into the chart, bring them into the dashboard, bring it to life, explain the marks and be animated and bring the passion to your um, project that you put into it because you've done something really successful and so you can share that success with other people. So with that, you're going to share your dashboard to your colleagues. You're going to be amazing. Just make sure you really focus on ensuring your audience can see the parts of the dashboard you're talking about and that they can understand why each bit was a success for you. I wish you lots of luck. Thank you very much. Bye.